my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my son and how he is doing. This is the first, I guess, update that I've given y'all of him. He is currently four months old. Well, let's start off with month one, I guess. He did not sleep very well, like newborns. He didn't latch. So I had to use like the nipple shield, the thing that you push it on and it pops it out or whatever. Um, I had to use that on my, my left chest for him to nurse. Well, even my right too, but now he only prefers my right and he's preferred my right over my left for the longest time because they're, they're different. So he prefers the right over the left and we have issues with him on the left. So I pump on this one while he nurses on this one. And you know how moms, we forget and we don't do it. Well, now I have, I don't know if this is like a normal issue or not, but now this one is bigger, like noticeable, like really noticeable. Well, to me, like I'm saying I can look down and this one's way bigger than this one because I forget to pump. And like I'm losing my milk on this side and this one I'm not, you know what I mean? So yeah, so we are dealing with that issue, but he's doing great the first month. He already was trying to hold up his head. He did very well with that. He did get a hematoma on his head. He actually still has that. We went to the doctor and they said we just had to keep an eye on it eye on it. And then his second month, well his first month he was already smiling and trying to talk. Can you say da da? A da da da. A da da. Come on. I used to just do this and he would talk. Da da. Da da. The second month, um, he started gripping things like that. He was able to start pulling my hair, which it was like cute and not like it hurt and I didn't like it, but it was like, oh, he can grab stuff now. His, when he was two and a half months old, he rolled over and we had, I mean, two and a half months. We went back to the doctor and it has calcified to where it's hard. And it was scary because I looked online, you know, you Google everything and say like, he would have to have surgery. The only way it would come off if it didn't go, I mean, if it didn't sink back to normal. And which was very scary because I didn't want my little baby having to go through surgery like that. Three months, he really started holding. <laughs> he really started holding things very well. He's very like able to grab things and start pulling it to his mouth. But he did start to bite. He thinks like everything is for his mouth and to chew on. He is teething. He started teething if you get two months but like no teeth are showing up or anything. I think they wanted me to go to a dentist appointment for like his four months, but I don't see the point because he's not like eating real food or anything, getting teeth in. So I was just gonna wait for six months because that sounds like more normal to me. But he is doing great. He is a big boy. Dinna baby, dinna. Dinna baby, dinna. His little hematoma, I don't know if y'all can see it on the back of his head right here on this side and there's like a let's see can you see it can you see it it is shrinking i don't think i have a picture of it if i do i would insert one okay he's rolling over he's well he was doing great when we first moved in. He would go to bed around whenever we would go to sleep, around like 9 or 10, and wake up at 3 to nurse. And then he would wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, which was great. And then he started going through, I think it's like 3 month or 4 month sleep regression, I think that's what it's called. And then we got sick, and now I basically sleep during the day and awake at night because of him and I know it's bad I need to get back on a normal schedule but since we're sick like it's we just want to sleep all the time so like that's fine yeah he's doing really good um I'm kind of upset because I had his first pictures like on my phone and everything and then I was on the phone with somebody I think it was the insurance 
and oh my goodness <laughs> insurance and I went to hang up the phone and it wanted to hang up and it was completely blacked like the screen was black I cut I charged it I took the battery out put it back in turn it on turn it off all that good stuff and it never turned back on so I had to get a new phone and I lost all of those pictures and I'm so upset because I take a lot of pictures on my phone I don't really take a lot on Edward's phone he has a couple but yeah and he's teething a lot I am using some gel for his teeth I actually just bought it a couple nights ago uh, he, he's been sick with like a cold but now uh, we use the, the Frida baby one like you suck it out I can't do it um I get grossed out very easily like with boogers and stuff which is I mean I don't know just the fact that you gotta breathe it in ugh, grosses me out so Edward has to do it but we do use saline that thing and he's doing really good I have been giving him medicine for it most Frida and we have been giving him cough syrup and mucus when it's the um Zarbies, is that how you say it? I don't know. So I've been using Zarbi for everything, for his teeth, for his teeth, <laughs> for his gums. Um, and then I have a uh, probiotic that I've been giving him. But since we moved into this new apartment, I kind of lost it and I just found it again. So we're starting to take it all again. This is first time getting sick. So like I'm very like aware of him when he sleeps now. Like I prefer him to sleep on me. Like whenever we have a chance. So I don't really sleep very much. I'm just kind of really nervous with him sleeping and his breathing. He um, talks a lot. He kind of cries and it kind of sounds like he's saying mama. But I don't know. His first word, if it would be mumbling, when he whines, it sounds like he says Eddie. And that's his father's name is Edward. And we call him Eddie. And so he sounds like he's saying Eddie <laughs> when he cries. Uh... <laughs> That's what he's crying for him. He is scooting. He scoots now. I leave him over here in the middle so he doesn't get to anything and then I find him under the couch like right here. So he's not like literally like under the couch where I can't find him but he's just there. I don't know how he moves but he does. He sticks his little butt up in the air and he pushes and his legs kick. He's so cute when he does that. I just can't get enough of him. He is my first child. He's growing so fast. Like, I want another one, but I want him to be born again. I don't know. And my postpartum, I know I'm just all over the place, but my postpartum went actually kind of well. In my last video, I know I ended it with us getting home, and it was nice being home, but it was difficult for me. Since I did root in two places, I couldn't sleep on my back. I couldn't sit on my butt. And whenever I did, it hurt. Like, I would s try to stand and feel like I were like a weigh like a thousand pounds. It was crazy. And like, everything was weighing me down. Um, so I would sleep on my stomach. I had his... So I had... I have two boppy pillows. And I would lay them out to where... I was elevated off the bed because I would sink and it would hurt and so I would get up like backwards so I'm laying on my stomach and I would inch my way back and stand up off the bed so I never had to roll on my back or my butt because that's where it hurt I actually did pretty well by seven days by a week my pain was completely gone the stitches were healed, I guess, and I felt good. The only issue was that I was still feeling pressure down there. Like, if I would walk a lot, like, go up the stairs, anything, I would still feel a lot of pressure. It is, by the third month is whenever I actually started feeling better with that. Like, you do bleed a long time. I finally stopped bleeding, and I think I was bleeding for, like, three months off and on. Not, like, all the time. It was just, like, spotting, basically. But yeah, so I'm doing good. I started working out, and whenever I do feel a lot of pressure, I just don't work out as hard. So yeah, that's my update. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know it's kind of random, 
I just wanted to let y'all know about Chandler and how he's doing. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it and hope to see y'all next time. Bye. Happy pillow?